Hi, I'm Mike. And I hate to say it, but today I broke the AeroQuip loading chute. We're gonna fix it with a brand new piece of equipment today on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back and thanks for joining us once again as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. And as always, if this is your first time here, we want to give you a special welcome and thank you for taking an interest in where your food comes from and the families behind it. Be sure to subscribe and follow along as we do this every single week here on YouTube. We have a new video every Tuesday and a video every Friday. We also have a live stream on Sunday on our channel. It's called Beyond the Ranch. So today, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get back into what we've always called the project list. Uh, our friend Matt actually helped us put real labels up here, but we have the project list on one side, we have Aaron's wish list on the other side. I don't think Aaron knows this is here yet, so there isn't really a whole lot uh, in there, but the project list is filling up quickly and we need to get some stuff knocked off of it, especially as we move into this part of the season where we're gonna start uh, preg checking. We've got weaning coming up, of course, winter feeding and all that kind of good stuff. So we wanna make sure that we get that done as quickly as possible. So this is it, the fabled project list. Uh, some stuff gets some done, some stuff doesn't. Sometimes this is my wish list as well. But I've got some pretty simple stuff on there right now. We need a new filter of the farmhouse, need to clean up the barn, the shop, the chicken house, all that normal kind of stuff. Uh, we've got our old chute still set up that we wanna get moved out of there uh, before we preg check. Uh, some uh, pig water issues, we're gonna move the BCS around. I got a couple doors that I need to fix. But the, the thing that we're gonna take a look at today is um, this one right here, fix the loading ramp. And for that, I'm gonna take you out here in the sales barn. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna start here. We're gonna go out and we're gonna take a look and see what the problem is that we need to fix. And then we're gonna talk about how we're gonna fix it. So we're gonna go just a little bit farther. Okay, so this is the AeroQuip corral system. We're gonna be using this extensively over the next uh, couple weeks. So we wanna make sure that everything's working on it. And one of the things that I need to fix is this here loading ramp, uh, which is used for uh, loading trailers or uh, semis as we move cows in and out of here. So the problem is that it's actually busted and that's totally my fault. All right, so AeroQuip gave us this piece of equipment to use and I ran into it with the tractor, which then bent this piece completely in, uh, broke a weld here that I'm gonna have to re-weld, but for right now, what I need to do is get this piece straightened back out. In order to do that, we are gonna kind of go back to what we did last week where we used the shop press um, to actually bend metal. We're gonna try a different type of press today, uh, which will be more of a hydraulic ram. We're gonna try to see if we can get that underneath here and being able to push off of one side over here back into this side to straighten this back out so that we can lift this up and down because that's what the problem is. Because this thing is bent, we're not able to lift our platform at all or lower it, I guess I should say. Actually, right now I can't do either one. It's jammed in there. So we'll get this working. Let's head back to the sales barn and I can show you the piece of equipment that we're gonna use to do this. All right, so last week we got a chance to use this thing. Uh, we used it to straighten the teeth on the, uh, the grapple for the, for the bucket of the tractor. Today we're gonna actually use a, something similar, but totally different, if that makes sense. We're gonna be using this. This is a uh, hydraulic equipment kit. These are available at, at uh, uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, I think this one is about 200 bucks, uh, but I th I'm hoping that it's actually valuable to the ranch and that we're able to use it. It's got a 20,000 pound capacity, uh, 10 ton hydraulic uh, ram pump that actually moves uh, pieces back and forth. I have never used one of these before, so we're gonna actually open it up here and, uh, and see what's in here and then um, take it out and see if we can get that thing straightened up enough that we can move our ramp up and down again.
so this is what it looks like. It's got an instruction manual, which probably isn't a bad thing to take a look at. This whole setup kind of reminds me of um, the Jaws of Life type of thing. So basically what we do is we take a hydraulic ram, whatever size we need, We need, those are extensions apparently. So this is the actual, where's the actual ram? This is the actual ram part, right? Yep. On one end of this, aha, there's a cap. On one end of this we can put whatever we need to. Anyway, let's, <laughs> rather than struggle my way through this, let's take this thing out to where we need to use it. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get it put together correctly. I don't know where this came from. There we go. The biggest problem with this entire setup is that it's not light. Ugh. It's got wheels on it, but the case is not the best thing in the world either, so I'm kind of afraid to roll it along. So rather than try to roll it all the way over there, we're just gonna put it in the back of the gator and drive over there. First thing first, I guess we're gonna try to set this thing up here before we have to put it over there. Okay. How to use RAM setup. Okay. So this is our this is our RAM. This is what we're gonna be using. We're obviously gonna need this thing, this is actually our portion of it that moves the hydraulic fluid through. A really handy little threaded handle there. Okay, that's it. There's basically one page of extensions, or er, er, instructions. All right. If the stationary side is in danger of being bent or damaged, place a block of wood or other material behind the flat base somewhere. What is, the, what is the flat base? This is the flat base, isn't it? Flange base, oh, okay. So this is not gonna work. We're actually gonna use an extension. There's supposed to be a male connector. There it is. That we can use something like that. Maybe this one. Let's try this to start. Okay, so some things are just a pain in the butt when you're by yourself, but so this part, this part's too long. Okay, so we need a different one of these. Okay, that's gonna be about as close as we're gonna get, I think. Thing is, I gotta get it in position where it's actually gonna do some good and hopefully not bend this piece. That's my giant goal here. So I don't really have enough length to be able to get a piece of wood in there yet. And I need three hands. That's what I really need. Okay, all right, let's see if we can move this some. I'm trying to be better about thinking ahead on things, right? So 
one of the things is that if this thing decides to let go, I don't want the ramp to fall on my head. So we're gonna put the safety chains back up. Thinking ahead. The nice thing is once I get this, this ramp to drop, then we can work from the top side with this hydraulic ramp. Okay. All right, so I think I've got this bent out quite a bit. We're gonna drop the hydraulic ram out of there and hopefully the whole ramp will fall down then we can work from the top. And I think that'll be a lot easier. So we, all we have to do is just do this. The ram falls out apparently. And we can get it out of here. let this thing down so we can work from the top here. Well, it still seems to be hung up somewhere. Let's see if we can get it to go down. It worked. <laughs> okay, so now we can see where our issues are. We're just all hammered right there. And what we can try to do is push that back in, flatten the rest of this out, and then we'll have to come back in and re-weld this. We'll probably do that another day. Set back up. I think that is right where the initial bend was made, where I hit it. All right, take this bad boy back out. Okay, so the hope is that the whole thing goes right back up. No problem. Oh, look at that. There we go. Put our chains on. And it's like, it's like brand new. Nobody tell Arrow Cliff about this, okay? We're not saying a word. What we can say is that this thing worked pretty darn well it uh i don't know how the hell i'm gonna get it back into the into the case here but 20,000 pound capacity super heavy duty doohickey maybe i'm putting this in wrong that seems to be like an end spot there does this go the other way nope it only goes this way I don't know. These things drive me crazy. You know, here's a good here's a good uh, a good tip. I'll give you a good tip here. When you get these, and <laughs> don't do what I did, but when you get one of these, take a picture of it when it's all inside the box and nice and pretty. And then when you go go to put it back together, you can kind of get it back the way it was. Because I don't know, I have no idea where this thing goes. If, the, if it closes, though. Hey, look at that. <laughs> We're in good shape. The Pittsburgh hydraulic ram, uh, kind of our own little jaws of life. I, I can see where this would be uh, handy on the ranch, where we could use it here and there. And, and uh, I'm definitely gonna keep it around and, and hopefully, uh, hopefully not have to use it again. But if we do need it, we've got it. So I'm sure there's lots of places we could use it. Thanks for coming along today. We really do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Follow along as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. we got new videos coming out. Uh, we will be preg checking here before too long. Also, weaning is coming up, so you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe. Hit the little bell button so you get notified when new videos come out. Check us out on the web, rwyominglife.com. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again on Friday. Until then, have a great week, and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming Life.
You know, that went a lot smoother than I thought it would. Hopefully the arrow clip's not like, you break it, you bought it.